The code in our custom data service that calls the HTTP client service is our first line of defense against HTTP errors. It's here that we have the observable returned by the HTTP client service. If the backend server generates an error, it returns that error in the HTTP response. The HTTP client service then uses the returned observable to emit an error notification with error details. This error observable ends and won't emit any more items. It's here in our custom data service that we catch that error. This prevents the error from continuing down the subscription chain. Alternatively, we can retry instead of immediately processing the error. See the error handling with observables link at the end of this module for more information on how to retry. When we process an error, we replace the errored observable with another observable. That's because the errored observable stops and won't emit any more items. The replacement observable could emit a default value. That way, any code in a template that is bound to the observable will still work. We could also provide error information with that default data. One option is to wrap the data into a structure that includes the data and a potential error message, something like this. The component then unwraps the result to access the data and any error. If there is no good default for the replacement observable to emit, we could instead format a user-friendly error message. The replacement observable could then emit a new error with the formatted error message. The component then catches the new error and displays the message to the user. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.